to another reaction video, y'all. It's your boy Cam. Back at it again with another reaction video, y'all. If you're not a part of the Cam fam, make sure to hit that hit, subscribe button. If it like the video, to my fucking fight, but it gets going. Yeah. Today we're reacting to Super N, Super M, and the song is called We Do. I'm excited for this one, you guys. I'm really starting my Super M journey. Let me know how you guys feel about this song inside the comment section below. Also, let me know, are they releasing an album or not? Or is this just a singular song? But yeah, let's hop on into the video. This is dope. Okay, I have to say this. Okay, one, one, the intro dance sequence was really freaking cool. It was very on point. I love that they have this laundromat type theme. I've never seen somebody do a laundromat video in any capacity, not in K-pop or hip hop or any genre that I'm, I'm familiar with. I've never seen them do that. I think this is a really cool concept. And I feel like it also is very vibrant. And I feel like, here's the thing, I feel like, K-pop, like I said, has the best music videos, and, and, and it's not even close, and the concepts are really original as well. I really love this, and Super M is one of my favorite groups. That's facts. I've told y'all, but I, it, I've only, I think I've only reacted to two, two of their actual songs, and I thought they were freaking dope. The music videos are amazing, so I'm excited for this one, too. I like how they transitioned from like the dual sequence that they had into like a larger dance sequence. I really think that was a great transition. I also have to say, their vocals are really freaking good. I have to say, like the singing, I I've been consistent about this. I've said that they have some of the best vocals in the scene. They're not EXO level. But like I said, I, I know, I, I think you guys told me that Super M is an offset of EXO. I think, I think, I, look, you guys, I hear so many different things, man. I, I try to keep up with so many comments, so don't roast me too hard if I'm incorrect. But I'm pretty sure that's what you guys told me. Um, but yeah, they, their vocals are really freaking good. That's why I, I feel like Super, man, Super M has some of the best music. You know what I mean? Like, I love Super M. I love uh, Red Velvet, Blackpink. Uh, freaking like they have some of the best vocals right in EXO obviously but I feel like those group have some of the best vocals I feel like ATs has the best choreography in my personal opinion EXO is really up there as well but anyways let's hop back in <laughs> I love how this segment kind of remind me of stay tough, can't stop to get enough. Come on. <laughs> That's what it kind of reminded me of, you guys. If you've ever heard that song before, but it kind of reminded me of that. That was super crisp right there. Did you guys see that? And a lot of their dance moves kind of remind me of like, I would say more Michael Jackson-esque, but they're not the only group that I know or just group in general that has taken a lot of influence from MJ's dance moves. MJ is one of the best dancers of all time, man. And I don't even think it's close. He's, I would say, to be honest with you, I'd feel like he's the best artist of all time throughout all genres. And, and, I, and I know someone's gonna say that's a little bit biased, but I feel like, the things that Michael has accomplished, he has literally affected all genres and all music, man. Like, he, he's, uh, it's, it's kind of magnificent what he accomplished. But anyways, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about it. I really love the choreography. That was smooth. That was smooth. And this definitely has an, a retro vibe to it. it this honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. If they had Bruno Mars on this, this is definitely one of those Bruno Mars songs that you could definitely hear. Like this is, it, it's not a Bruno Mars song, but it's definitely one of those 
instrumentals that would sound really good with Bruno Mars. And that freaking splits that he did was absolutely crazy, you guys. I Honestly, I feel like I got hurt doing that. The fact that he was able to do that is crazy. I can't wait for the dance practice of this to come out. I was not expecting that. That was really cool how he, he was like, right? And then the other guys came out. That was really freaking cool. And then they panned out and then they had the rest of the guys like this. Like, <laughs> that was really cool. But that's what I mean by like, that is definitely a, a Michael Jackson influenced dance move, right? Like, I'm just being honest with you guys. If you've watched any of his music videos, and I feel like, to be honest with you, all genres, hip hop, you know, K-pop, uh, R&B, you know, any genre has really been affected by his dance and his singing. So, you know, I'm not really surprised by that, but I think it's really dope what they did with the choreography. That was a dope transition. I love their their choreography is actually really freaking good, man. Do you see this? Like the way that they've changed multiple sequences, multiple themes. Like I really like this. Like this is really freaking dope. Like and the transitions that they're doing, I've seen before from like other groups, but I feel like they put their own little flavor on it, their own little influence on it. I really like it. I love their their actual like wardrobes like it's definitely matching the environments that they're in right it's very vibrant very bright very playful right and i like when the outfits that you they have that they have on match the actual environments that they're in i love that like exo is amazing at that man like it, they're they're top tier ATs is amazing at that as well the bts we already know bts it they're they're they're, they're they they may be the best at matching that and doing that um, but I feel like I love Super M too. They do an amazing job at it too. That was dope. He has an absolutely amazing voice. I think I've said that multiple times in my other Super M videos. <laughs> I think I've said that multiple times. I, I, any of you guys who've been around the channel uh, for a while, you guys already know, I think this guy has an absolutely amazing voice. And I've said that. I think I've said that multiple times. Um, like I said, I will say this. There, there is just certain people that you're like, wow, okay, this person is very, 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 very freaking talented. And, and like I said, all the EXO guys, they have absolutely amazing voices, honestly. And, and honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna have more EXO reactions. I'm not sure either today, probably tomorrow, y'all. I have some personal stuff I have to handle, but yeah, more EXO reactions tomorrow. But yeah, this guy's amazing. Oh, so they changed the wardrobe. See what I mean by they changed the wardrobe to match the theme that they had going on within this actual environment? Yeah, this is the same environment, but they just changed the colors, right? So they're like, we changed the, the lighting, so therefore we're going to change the outfits. I love that. That's dope. They changed, I like how they changed the camera angles within this actual dance sequence, right? They had them head on and then they tilted the camera a little bit, right? And then they 
transition to the next sequence, right? And then they had it from a different angle. That's what I mean by like, I love the use of different angles within the K-pop scene. It's really never understated and it's never too much for me. Like there's, there, there is a situation where you can use too many camera angles, but I honestly don't feel that way with any group, to be honest. Right? Are we gonna are we gonna be honest? Come on, who is that beautiful specimen on the right? <laughs> Look, I know y'all been missing me saying that, but who's that beautiful specimen on the right, guys? Look, ladies, let me know who that is. Y'all, I swear I'm straight. I got a girl. I'm just saying I know a good looking guy when I see one, and all these guys are pretty, but that guy on the right with a little short haircut, oh man, he's a good looking dude. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like, Cam, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> Someone said that they missed me saying that, so I had to say. But honestly, like I said, that is a fact. All these guys are good looking. Not even gonna lie to you, but I feel like that's kind of normal. We already know that these guys are all good looking. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> That's really dope. Now, this is not the first time. Oh, there, there's the good looking guy. But anyways, this is not the first time I've ever seen uh, an actual group use fireworks, right? I think it was Stray Kids that I thought did it the best. Stray Kids is really dope as well. And they had a sequence where they were on top of the roof. And then every time they uh, threw it up, a fi the fireworks, which I thought that was really cool. Like I said, I think this is a really cool sequence. But I honestly think that the Stray Kids, I'm pretty sure it was Stray Kids that did that. But anyways. Yeah, that's a really cool sequence that they have right here. That was a nice transition. That was dope. That was, I have to say that that was one of my favorite music videos from Super M. That was absolutely amazing. It was all of what I thought it was gonna be. Super M is such an amazing group, man. They are, if you have not heard of them, please go check them out. Please go check out more of their music. Um, I have a couple reactions of them, so if you're more interested in uh, watching more of my reactions to them, look, please go check out to the channel. I have plenty of videos that you can look through. I have plenty of K-pop, but yeah, you guys, look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, but yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts on the actual music video, but yeah, y'all, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.